Applications are really good. Uh, they are up significantly, about a 35% increase over last year. Uh, if you go back two years ago, our applications have increased 200%. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's a function of a lot of things. First of all, students are applying to more schools nowadays with the online applications. But we've expanded our name searches. We've expanded our travel. The admission staff has worked very hard. Uh, the campus itself, we get support from faculty, staff, coaches, the communications uh, department has worked really well with us as far as marketing the college, too. How do you feel Westminster is comparing to other local schools of our size as far as applications go? It's hard to say exactly because I'm not sure where all of the other schools are. Uh, mm. Schools that we cross apps with most would be Allegheny and W and J. And I would say we're, we're similar, maybe slightly ahead of, right. of them, but I don't know that for sure. I'm not sure where they are this year. Um, what do you feel, uh, or do you feel that Westminster is being set apart in any way from maybe those schools or Grove City or any other schools that are kind of dotted up along the 79 corridor um, in terms of, you know, you said the admissions, they're going around a lot more mm -hmm. to different places. Are there any other things that you feel are setting Westminster apart from maybe some other schools? Well, I think that Westminster has a very good reputation, as do the other schools. Right. But we have a good reputation, and I think the students that come here have good experiences. Our alumni always refer students to us. Uh, so that's something that certainly is in our favor. Uh, I think the fact that we have such a high placement rate. Mm -hmm. uh, our, our graduates uh, get into graduate schools, get jobs, and that's something that we like to share with prospective students. Uh, we try to be competitive with our scholarships, our merit awards. Mm -hmm. So those are all things that we do try to market, uh, and hopefully they, they give us an advantage or separate Westminster. Looking to um, the economy right now, which is obviously a really touchy subject yes. and uh, we're in a, a bit of a crisis right now, um, the applications seem to be coming in at a rapid rate, as you said, but do you find as um, students and our prospective students and their parents come to visit, do you find that they're asking more questions regarding financial aid or tuition assistance or uh, merit-based scholarships because of the economy? Yeah, no question. Uh, that, that's a big issue this year, as it is every year, but I think even more so with the economy. And that's why we all in the admissions office have worked very hard and we're happy with where our numbers are but we're really wondering to see where it's going to end up, uh, what our yield rate is going to be. I think that maybe not as many students will be able to afford to come to Westminster or, mm -hmm. to, or to be able to afford private schools. Right. So that is an unknown at this time, and it is a concern in our office. Uh, but th that's definitely something that prospective families are, are curious about. With them being concerned about this, and you just said admissions is a little concerned. Yes. Um, I interviewed President Dorman last week, and he said that uh, the college is financially stable for this year, but in future years, maybe not so much. They don't really know. There's a lot of question there. Um, do you look, even though there's a huge spike right now in applications, that there might be a drop-off in years to come, whether the economy fluctuates one way or another? That's kind of a wait and see. Yeah. Uh, but but he, President Dorman is correct. You know, Westminster is financially sound. Right. And I think our scholarships and our awards are competitive with other institutions. So we would certainly hope that we'll continue our efforts and the efforts of the entire campus community, as I said, have been so important that that won't happen, that uh, right. our numbers will continue to be strong. Jumping on to another topic. Um, Westminster is now participating in the Yellow Ribbon Program, which yes. uh, provides uh, veterans uh, with free tuition to pursue a degree. Could you explain a little bit more about that program? It's very new and upcoming here at Westminster, just announced a few days ago. It's a new program, and uh, Westminster has always honored uh, the, the veterans, people that have served uh, our country. And what this program does is veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan post 9-11 uh, they have an opportunity to get g government assistance, and Westminster will also contribute to that. Uh, and, and they do get uh, a, a good education, I think, for price breaks, and it just kind of honors their service to our country. Quickly, um, back on to the prospective students. They're boasting a high school GPA of 3.5 and an average 1,100 on the SATs. Yes. These are far and above um, very high numbers for prospective students among America's mm -hmm. colleges and universities. To what do you um, credit that to, them being a little bit higher? I think part of it would be the merit scholarships. Uh, they attract the better students, and I know as an admissions staff, 
we work very hard to uphold the standards of Westminster. Those averages of a 3.5 and 1,100 are very similar mm -hmm. to what our averages have been over the years. And uh, that's something that we work hard to maintain. Great. We've been talking with Brad Tokar, Dean of Admissions here at Westminster College. Brad, thank you for being with us this week. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Stay tuned. More County Line is on the way. Good. Thank you so oh, much. Sure. Really appreciate it. That was kind of what you were looking for. Yeah, no, that was perfect. Okay, Absolutely great. perfect. Hey, Brad. Yes, sir. The only thing is.